Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from selfmadesuccess.com and in this video I'm going to show you seven YouTube ideas that you can do without showing your face. So as far as keeping your privacy while still making a living or a nice income from YouTube, it can be done. You'll notice most of my videos don't have my face in them, although I plan on exper experimenting with other formats in the future. I've built most of my channel up to this point without even having to um, be in my videos visually. So seven ideas for what you can do if you want to start a YouTube channel while maintaining your privacy, not showing your face. The first thing you can do is review videos. So these are very easy to do. If you watch a few videos from Fun Toys Collector Disney Toys Review. They have a 9.5 million subscribers on their YouTube channel. Just watch any of their videos. You'll notice it's a woman who basically takes these toys out of the box, shows you what they look like. The most, like you see this little very small picture of her hand holding up the toy, that's about the most you ever see of the person presenting in these videos. You'll see, you kind of see her hand right there. She talks about the toy, what it does, and presents it. And all these people looking to buy toys watch these videos and she makes very good money. So that's an example. Look up this channel, watch some of these videos. You can see how you can do reviews of physical products. You don't have to just do digital products. If you want to do digital products, I recommend using um, slides like I'm doing you know for for my type of videos that are educational I like to use slides like these just to hammer home each point that I make so you remember it so that you learn it faster um, you don't have to do this but if you want to do reviews of products or like a top 10 of something maybe then this can really help and you could use Google slides okay it's free to use all you have to do is have a Gmail account um, here's an example of a video I did a couple years ago called Buffer vs. Hootsuite. It's still the number two ranked video for Buffer vs. Hootsuite, which are two very popular social media services for marketing. And you can watch that video. It's out. It's a little outdated, but it shows you how I, you know, got 48,000 plus views for a video with a pretty decent um, keyword and still didn't have to have my face in them and talk in front of a camera and all that. So I use slides and I use footage of the actual online product I was reviewing. So you, it's really easier to review you know, video games and online products and stuff like that because you can just record your screen when you do it. And I'll talk more about that in a minute, what tool you could use. But like I'm on Hootsuite right now, this is one thing I could do. I could go through the different things in Hootsuite, the different options, the different settings and all that, and review it from here without showing my face. So that's another thing you could do. Um, these types of videos typically do very well. You can build a whole channel out of reviews. Uh, gameplay videos can do very well. If you want to do this without showing your face, it's not hard. You can take after what the Rad Brad does. He has 7.7 million subscribers. You can watch him play video games, but usually he doesn't show his face unless he just started doing it in some of these other videos all of a sudden. He typically never does. Like PewDiePie, he got very famous. He has like 50-something million subscribers. But he usually had a little square in the corner that showed his reaction and his facial expressions. The Red Brad doesn't do that, but he still makes a very nice income, of course, and has a big channel without even having to do that. So you can do gameplay. Um, if you want to do gameplay, I recommend this article here called How to Capture Video Game Footage on PS4, Xbox One, PC, and Mac. And I'll have a link to this article for you. It's at Kotaku. If you've ever been to that site or you just want to look it up in Google. And it tells you step by step. Um, it also gives you tips of how to have high quality videos. But it tells you 
uh, step by step how to capture um, gameplay footage on whatever console you're using. So another thing you can do is tutorial videos, typically online tutorial videos. It's going to be hard to do like, you know, how to repair something on your car or something like that without showing your face. But when it comes to doing stuff on a computer, you can definitely record that pretty easily. Now, one tutorial that comes to mind is something like this one by Derek Banis, and it's called Python Programming. So you could look up how to do coding, for instance, and you'll find all kinds of tutorial videos of people doing stuff without, you know, using code and showing you how to do it on their screen without actually showing their face, just has their commentary and they're recording their screen as they do it. So pretty much anything you can do on a computer, you can record and do tutorials for that. Screencast-O-Matic will allow you to record your screen for free, or you can get the, um, you know, the other versions that might get rid of the, um, the branding on there and stuff like that and give you some more options. But if you want just a free screen recorder that allows you to do something like tutorials and stuff, um, Screencast-O-Matic is one of the more popular ones. And of course you can upgrade later on. Another one is compilation videos. So, you know, if you don't want your face in it, you probably don't do a lot of videos of yourself in these compilations, but um, you can take after popular channels like Watch Mojo. I recommend you watch some of theirs. Now usually they have some person who's kind of like the, you know, anchor man or anchor woman or the presenter, whatever you want to call them in the videos. But they, most of the time, most of their videos are compiled of a compilation of movie clips, TV show clips, cartoon clips, you know, music video clips, stuff like that. So Watch Mojo does a lot of like top 10 videos and stuff. You can check them out if you want to look up compilations. Obviously, you need to make sure you are not violating violating copyright that's a big thing you need to read the copyright rules for YouTube um, and there are some YouTube videos out there as well that tell you how copyright works based on what they've done um, you want to be able to make money from these videos and not violate the copyright but people are awesome is another channel with just under 2 million subscribers and it does a compilation um, of people doing all kinds of stunts and stuff like that. So you could do these types of things. Um, if you've ever watched a show called Ridiculousness, that's another type of thing you could do, like funny clips of people doing stupid stuff. Uh, America's Honey Funniest Home Videos, another show that used to be popular. I don't even know if it's around anymore. They used to do like clips of people doing funny stuff at home and put them in a compilation. Um, but just make sure you have um, your copyright rules down and you understand that. But these Watch Mojo and People Are Awesome are two channels that you can learn something from, get some ideas from for compilations. Animation videos are another thing you can do. You can basically do your own TV show or your own cartoon using animation. One example is somebody who does comedy videos. It's at OniNG is the name of the channel. And you know they had they've had some very popular videos. A lot of these have at least a couple million each. And he also does a tutorial of how to do um, different different um, animations and stuff like that, and how he does it. You can see it on the Easy Cartoon Backgrounds tutorial, which is the main um, video on his home for his channel. Uh, you could also use something like Autodesk for your 3D animation and stuff like that. Or, you know, you could do more 2D like he does. But animation allows you to do pretty much whatever you want as long as you keep it original. So you can do your own cartoons and stuff like that. Also, you can do music videos. And the way you do this without being in them is you don't have like a big production. You just do like art as your background like Bart Stoop does with his channel. He does kind of a blend of rock and orchestra music. 
Um, a lot of it's instrumental, pretty much all of it is, and they basically have some sort of art in the background. I don't know if he does it himself or has it done, but they have some sort of art in the background that kind of dis that kind of goes with the mood of the music, and that's it. They don't have any pictures of himself or a band or anything like that. So you can play the music in the background. A lot of people will go on YouTube just to listen to some sort of audio, and they won't even um, care if there's not much of a, a visual. So you could do that. Another thing you could do is the lyrics to the music. So if you're trying to make it as a music artist or something, and you want to make a YouTube video, another thing you could do is have your own lyrics in the visual area of the video. Or you could just show like your album cover. There's a bunch of different things you could do. Last but not least, another interesting way to make a YouTube channel without showing your face is um, using your podcast. And somebody called Tim Ferriss, who has a lot of videos with his face in them, as you can see, he's a pretty famous person, best-selling author, very popular podcast, but... If you just look at his podcast videos, they'll say podcast at the end of the title usually. The um, the thumbnail you see right there, that is literally the entire visual of his videos. It's just a picture of the person he interviews, a picture of the podcast art, which is the cover of the podcast if you were to look it up on um, the app, and, you know, a dis... A, little thing that says guest and then the name of the guest that's it that's literally what he does for visual then he has like an hour-long interview and you just listen to it you don't really even need to pay attention to the visual because nothing's going to change it's just that picture so you can even use youtube to promote your podcast you see he gets thousands of views and he just has a still picture of the person their name and the album art so if you got something from this video, if you felt like it was helpful, please like and subscribe so I can create more videos like this for you. Also, if you want to let me know what you thought about the video, if you want to let me know about some other ways that maybe I didn't mention or your experiences with doing these types of videos without showing your face, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I know people watching would as well. They'd like to get any insight you have to give. And I'll have the links I mentioned, examples, um, YouTube channels I talked about, tools, related content, all that stuff for you on one page at selfmadesuccess.com in the coming days. I'll also get a link in the video description to that page for you as well. So other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helps you and I hope you have a great day.